guys, I made this super long vine garland that I want to use for my exposition and then after that I can use it in my studio space maybe and I started a new one with this yarn and I still have other green yarns that I want to use maybe if I don't get tired of this because it is quite tedious to do and I'll probably get tired of it soon Don't mind how I'm looking, I'm still ill and it's Sunday and I'm having kind of a chill day. I just made boba tea. I already made a lot of vines, crocheted vines for my art exposition that I want to show them at. Now I'm gonna work on some posters for my exposition. I already made this poster if you can see it. I made this poster in the last vlog. And now I'm gonna make some more posters to print so that I can show them in the location window display. So let's do that now and watch some YouTube, have kind of a chill day. And then afterwards I'll also have to work a bit more on my pattern. I started working on my first ever crochet pattern in the last vlog, in the March vlog. And I still have to finish some things today and tomorrow and then I'm gonna choose the testers for the pattern testing, which I'm somehow kind of nervous about. But that's for tomorrow, so let's first start with the posters for the exposition. Two days ago we went to evict his parents, their house, to clean up some of his stuff in his old bedroom. And we found a few cameras, we actually have two more that we took with us home, took home with us. And this is one of the cameras, it's, it was from his parents and I wanted to take it home because digital cameras are like super trendy now, like the old ones. That's so funny because when I was a child that was so normal for me to use and now it's suddenly vintage and I feel so old. <laughs> I am 27 by the way and yeah I wanted to try out this little camera and maybe make a video with it to see how it looks. So let's put it on. It can film one hour and 19 minutes, I think. I don't know if the SD card will work, by the way, so let me just try filming something. I don't know if you can see it. I'll put the clip on screen if it worked and I was able to put it on my laptop. I also wanted to show all these vines I've crocheted so far. I'm still very ill by the way. Well, I have the most snot today, but I don't feel that bad. So I have two of these very long mint colored vines and I also used a yarn that I didn't like at all. It was kind of a shiny yarn. So I'm very happy I could use it on these vines. These are very long and I'm busy making a third one out of this yarn because I had three skeins of yarn. And then I have a few shorter ones. I have a lot more yarn that I want to use. I don't know how many of these vines I will make, but it's honestly very relaxing to crochet. So I might do a few more <laughs> before starting a new project for a new video. I didn't even do an introduction to this vlog. So my name is Hippie Ray and I do all kinds of art stuff on this channel. Uh, mainly crochet and also drawing and all types of crafts. And this video will mainly be centered around my art exposition, I think, that I have in three weeks. So I really hope you enjoy this vlog. Get something to drink, get a snack, get cozy and enjoy this vlog.
today I'm gonna finish off my cardigan that I made in the previous vlog. I only need to finish the second sleeve and then I wanted to add some buttons and also some ruffles if I have time for that today. But first I'm gonna go to the hobby store to buy some yarn and also buttons. It's very, very windy. <laughs> I'm trying to add some ruffles on the inside of the sleeves, but it's really hard because I don't really have anything easy to hook into. So I'm kind of inventing something and really hoping it turns out nice, but it's very hard. I'm basing the ruffles on the pattern of the skirt. The ruffles weren't included in the cardigan, but I also want the cardigan to have ruffles. This ribbing became very floppy because of it, but I do still like it. My sleeves were also a little bit too short, so I feel like the ruffle kind of fixes it. So now I'm gonna put my foot in the microwave. Evert isn't home today, I'm not gonna see him all day because he left to a concert after his job. So I have the whole evening to just crochet on the sofa. By the way, Mona is in her box. She loves sitting in this box. My pattern testers, a few of them have started executing the pattern and I got a picture this morning. Someone already started with their vest and they're using multiple colors and I just love the color choice. It looks so good. I'm so excited to see pe people executes my homemade pattern. It's so exciting. I have never experienced anything like this before and it's so fun to see people being excited about something I made. I had a Zoom meeting this afternoon about the exposition that's that's starting in two weeks and it was a little bit confusing because i thought everyone already set their top three for the location that they wanted to choose but the organizer showed the powerpoint again so i hope we get to know which location we get soon because i really really want to get started printing all my designs also, a few of the starters have already started with their smiley sweater vest design and I kind of feel like a proud grandma in the group chat because everyone was discussing which colors they're gonna use and I just feel so happy so far. Let's just hope that the pattern is written well so that everyone can make their ideal smiley sweater vest. I bought vegan smoked salmon today and I'm very curious because I have been vegetarian for I think almost eight years now and I always loved smoked salmon when I did eat meat and fish so I really want to try it out. I am i don't have high expectations when it comes to meat replacers because usually they are kind of disgusting so I mainly just eat a lot of cheese and sometimes simple meat replacers it looks very fake, which is normal because it's not actually salmon, of course, but let's try it out. It tastes a lot like salmon. It does. Ha it's a little bit uncanny valley, but it does kind of taste like salmon, which is insane. And I'm having vegetarian sushi as dinner, so maybe I can add this. Guys, look at the result of my cardigan. I'm gonna link the pattern in the description. The only thing I changed was that I added this, this, these frillies on the holes. <laughs> the holes. And I also used buttons and I love it so much. Looks very cute. The only thing is the sleeves are too short, but it's not like too annoying to me. It still looks very cute. This took me 60 hours, you guys. I actually thought it took me longer, but I love the results so much. It's a very, very cute cardigan. I'm planning to make the matching skirt as well, like I mentioned about 10 times already. 10 times. Yeah, what do you think of this cardigan? 
I'm gonna have this fancy veggie lunch. It's gonna be a very busy weekend, you guys. I'm kind of trying to mentally prepare. Guys, I had such a rough time that weekend. I really thought I was done being ill, but it all came back and I don't know what I did to deserve it. It was so uncomfortable because we were sleeping at Avik's parents' house. So I didn't have my nose spray and the bed was very small. I don't think I really slept that night and it was such a busy weekend as well. Today I got the location for the exposition by the way and I have the biggest window so I'm very happy about that. We are trying to make some smoked tofu. The veggie tar tartiflette, or I don't know how to say it, was so good. It was probably one of the best things I've cooked so far. I'm a very picky eater, so a lot of the things I cook kind of have the same vibe. Lots of cheese, and I was happy to use potatoes because I love potatoes. In the evening, I drew this circus-themed drawing based on some, on some sketches I did. And I actually really like how it turned out. I also just want to stop complaining about not having one art style because I love testing out new textures and ways of drawing. For example, this is another drawing I did not in a vlog and I feel like it still kind of has the same vibe but it's obviously different. I finally know my place for the exposition, like the location. It's a, a sandwich bar or something. And then I wanted to contact them today and apparently they aren't working until next week. So then I contacted the owner through Messenger and I asked her a few questions. I don't know you guys, this exposition has been giving me so much stress. I Maybe I'm regretting it a little bit, but I already prepared everything. You can see my logo in the background. Um, and I'm still waiting for someone to take the measurements of the windows so that I can plan out my composition and finally order my prints because it's in a week and I still need to order the prints. So I was testing out a few options while, while I still wait for the measurements of the window. And this was the first thing I made, but Evict said it wasn't super convincing. So he made this, and I think this looks a lot cuter also, because obviously the people inside still need to be able to look outside. And I think this would be a really cute setup. So I think I'm going to go with this, but I first need the measurement of the window before I can order the prints. I'm going to sew in the ends of this wall hanging because i want to show it at the exposition this is the back i'm also thinking to buy some felt to maybe glue it on the back so that it looks a little bit prettier when the guests are inside of the sandwich bar so let's weave this in In the background you can see some stuff that I'll take with me to the expo. My prints have been printed by the way, but I'm gonna pick them up later this week. I think in the upcoming vlog that's gonna be about the second part of April, I'm gonna start with Evict his sweater vest. So I designed this sweater vest a few videos ago, a few vlogs ago. All my vlogs are very chronological by the way, so they follow up on each other. And I also want to make a sweater vest for Evict because he just mentioned it because I don't have that many testers for bigger sizes and he is very big so I can use him as a reference for maybe a 3x. 
Um, and I'll also make it a little bit longer because the vest is quite cropped so I can make it more unisex and also put it in the pattern. Some tips if you want to make it more unisex like... Then this afternoon I want to design some stickers for my exposition that's starting next week. Um, Evict actually knows someone who can get me stickers so um, I have to design them preferably before 3 p.m. today and I still have to go to the grocery store so I'll have to really hurry up with my sticker designs if I want them this weekend so that I can share them during the exposition next week. So this is the sticker that I drew for my pattern testers that I want to send as a thank you when they have done the pattern and then I've made this sticker this one definitely is my favorite for the exposition and then also this one so i'll have two stickers at the exposition to give to the people if they want a sticker and they are spring themed i love them so much so now um, i've sent them to evicht and he will send them to his friends and then hopefully i'll have the stickers this weekend I have my prints for the exposition. It has been such a busy day uh, because I worked a lot for another video and now it's evening and I finally have the time to show you the prints that I got earlier today. I don't really think I'll have the stickers by tomorrow because I really wanted to um, give some stickers to the people that visited my exposition. But now I'm gonna show you. I also ordered everything twice because I was scared that I was gonna hang it up and then it would hang in the wrong place and then the paper would rip or something. So I ordered everything twice and it was super super expensive at least to my standards because it was about 70 euros but it's very good quality so I really love this one. Well, I love all of them, obviously, but they are a little bit pixelated, I guess, because my image wasn't big enough, but it still looks fine. I have so many prints, you guys. <laughs> and these are all painted in my sketchbook, the ones I'm showing now. And this is my about page, so if you want to read it by any chance, just pause the video, but I made a little about page. Oh my god, these are huge. This is the first one, some of my wannabe tattoo designs that I drew. <laughs> Should I make posters of this and sell this one day, although I don't even have a, a shop and I'm not planning to have a shop? But Avix just said that it looks very cool on A1 size. He is there, by the way. Then I also have my zodiac signs, and we were kind of doubting on how I could show this, but I think this is an appropriate way of showing all the designs because it didn't fit an A1 size, uh, but I still think it looks good. Avix says it looks good. This is all my miscellaneous stuff that I created. Also, they only printed the A1 prints once. And this is my fashion designs. So that were all the prints. I decided I needed to make more vines because the window I'm using for the exposition is enormous. After Evict's band meeting, we went to the city to celebrate our seven years of being together. First step, earrings, purple, squiggly, amazing combination. Mirror, purple, squiggly, amazing. And then I also got this room to hang up the messages, please. Very cute and it was very cheap. I bought this beautiful handmade paper to hopefully paint on, for example for an upcoming video. We had dinner at Balls and Glory and we had different lemonades. I thought Evict wanted to ching ching but he actually wanted me to taste his lemonade. I really enjoyed my meatless meatballs. Oh, 
direct dat doen. Hij klemt. Ja, help, wat moet ik doen? Ja. En het is nog twee keer, hè? Hi guys, we had such a busy weekend. I think we only were home really to sleep. It has been insane yet again and I actually was quite ill this afternoon. I don't know if I have a virus or if it was just stress because I had like a stomach bug thingy going on and I was very ill for a few hours. But now I feel a little bit better, which is great because next week is super busy as well. And I'll show all that stuff in the upcoming vlog, which will be a vlog about the last two weeks of April. I used to do all my vlogs um, for the whole month, but now I'm thinking to split them up into two parts. I just wanted to show you the stickers. I have matte and glossy ones. This one is matte. It's super cute. This one also is matte. This is my favorite design I've made. It's so cute. And this is the last design. I'll probably give this to my pattern testers for the pattern that is still being tested. And I'll probably crochet the same vest for Ewigt in next week's... Uh, in the next upcoming vlog. Baby! Mona has really missed us, I, I think. So definitely subscribe if you want to check that out and I'll see you in next week's video. Bye bye!